Well, hello, hope your day is well. I'm going to, uh, anyway, get right to it. Uh, yes. A couple weeks ago, I, I poured this, so I poured this, and uh, I made a mistake. When I put it in the pressure pot, I, you know, because the Harbor pressure pot is actually designed for paint, actually. So it has a curve on the bottom. So I have to put a piece of wood in there to stabilize it, but I forgot to do it this time. And the pressure of it made it tilt like this and so as you can see it's kind of like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in here and I'm going to top it off and hopefully I can level it out a little bit all right so I'm going to take there right there and I'm going to pour uh, roughly around There, eight ounces by volume. Excuse me. And this is one to one ratio, so I'm going to pour the same exact in this one. All right. block right in the middle piece a couple pieces of two by fours that I put in there uh -huh. I probably put, made more than I should have all right well, that's okay You know, they say it's not the end of the world. I say that a lot. All right. See that? That would have been the difference the last time. Like it's nice and level. We'll find out.
cut off. I'm not going to bore you with that. All right, I got the uh, wood cut off in the middle. It took me a little bit. Originally, I wanted to take it to the bandsaw and use the bandsaw to cut it off, but the girth of the bandsaw was a little bit too short. So I had to be able to cut it off myself. I mean, using a different method. And it took a little time. But anyway, and having said that, all right, as you can see, it's on the lathe right now. And it's uh, ready to be turned. All right, so let's get started. Let's make something. down to the zebra wood and I love the coloring right here let's take a look at that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start shaping the the base of the bowl and then I'll start shaping the bowl and then start and then I'll turn it around and get it and start boring out the inside all right, let's get it done. that dry for a moment and then I'm going to switch it around and start shaping the top a little bit more and get the outside finished and then I'm going to start taking hollowing it out you know sometimes when I 
make these videos, I always have that gut feeling that somebody's watching me. give this a, a little bit of a break I'm gonna let my uh, lathe cool down a little bit I don't want to overheat it and then have the same thing happen to my last lathe right in the middle of a project right. I had this place clean before I started this project as you can uh, see there's a there's quite a bit of ribbon I might do something with this someday. grit up to probably the base is going to be about 320 grit before I start putting on the finish and this is going to be up to 600 grit and uh, wet sand from there on up all right
So the reason why for um, I'm more than likely 220 grit is because the base is going to have like a lacquer finish and the top is just going to be its own finish. All right. I'm not going to bore you with all of that details. You've seen sanding before. All right. What I did last night is I, I sanded this to like a 320 grit. And then I put a lacquer finish on the bottom, on the base of it, and uh, let that set. And now I'm going to start with a 400 grit wet dry sand paper, and I'm going to bring it through the micro mesh. All right, so let's get started. the paste that stuff and get that in there I call Obi Shine Juice the poor man's French polish. on the bottom but this really brings out a shine of it and the uh, shellac also enables acts as a UV barrier
put a few coats on there. <sighs> the project is not finished. I have to bore out the inside. But it is a... It is coming to shape and is actually looking really... I, I can't complain about it. If I did complain, who would really listen? Anyway. So it's taking me a little time to bore this out. One thing about this type of work is a a practice in patience because it takes time to do this. And if you try to rush it, you can get into a lot of trouble. Um, if you try to rush it and try to force the tools to go a little bit further than they can, you can cause breakouts, blowouts, blow ups, and you can cause injury on yourself. So you got to take your time at this. And it does take a little bit. But at the end of the day, the results makes it worth it. So let's continue boring this out. see it but I found I think it's a nail right up in the right there uh, I know I have to get it out but that's working a number on my tools uh, you can, right up there is a little you see that right there so I don't know, I'm just probably just going to have to try to take it out. That's what caused the, uh, that caused the, my, uh, my finger, my Sorby fingernail gouge to catch and shove my hand against uh, the tail rest, the tail, tail stock. Okay, I've had I've been through worse. Alrighty, uh, fooey thumb drum. I don't think I can get that out any other way. You know what they say about sometimes the past comes back and haunts you. Well, about a year or so ago, I bought my I had uh, an air nailer. And I would practice, ooh, I was having fun with it. And I was shooting two by fours and stuff. Well, that's what that metal was. Live and learn. No harm, no foul.
right there. Yeah, I'm still having that issue with that crack right there. All right. See what this is, is what I call too much, my too much project. What it is, is when I make too much resin on a particular project, leftover, instead of wasting it, which I'd be doing right now, I pour it in here. A little out of time. It's going to start building up. It builds up, and it has a lot of different, a lot of different colors from various different projects over the. Year. Well, I got the uh, cracks filled. This dry is ready to be put back on the lathe. It's taking a little longer than I expected it to be, but. Let's get it on the lathe. Well, it's on the lathe now. What I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'm gonna bore out the inside, continue, complete it, and then I'm gonna finish it, and all of that's gonna be sped through. So, next time you see the project, or next time I talk to you, it's gonna be on the, it's gonna be a finished project. Finished, so. All right, so. Let's get it done.
had a project that went without a hitch. And I thought I was being spoiled when this was just turning perfectly until I started going on the inside of it. You know what they say, it's what's on the inside that counts. Well, when I put the two by fours in there, it was so porous, it created bubbles inside. And that created problems that I didn't find out about until later on. And on top of that, I found a couple of nails inside. After I took care of that, and I took care of the holes, I thought maybe it was going to go without a hitch from that point. No. If you notice that I would switch from my right hand to my left hand when I was sanding. When I had, when I was washing out the denat with the denatured alcohol after 320 grit, the towel caught in which, you know, I don't know if you notice how a little bit bigger that this finger is, it kind of twisted and that hurt. And so I stopped for a little while, but I wanted to get this finished today. I wanted to get this video up. So here it is. Started off as a uh, easy peasy. <laughs> it didn't end up that way. It became a real pain, literally. But you know what? I like the way it turned out. I like the uh, coloring right there. As you can see, a lot of the coloring right there. Really on the inside. And uh, I don't even see where the, uh, oh, there's a couple of spots. There's a spot right up there where there's a little bit, you can see, you feel it a little. Uh, finally to the finish line. Oh my word, I didn't think that I was going to be able to get this finished. It was taking so long. But anyway, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to take some ibuprofen. But I'm going to start something new at the end when I put the pictures of this on. And I'm going to, I'll, uh, Put a picture that will give you the what's going to be next and so if you want to see what's uh, coming uh, push subscribe and uh, ring the bell and get a notification oh <laughs> I can breathe a sigh of relief on this one uh, I think it's going to turn out I think it's Yeah.